Welcome to another edition of Game Face. This is a production of SNA2 Athletic Communications. It's an opportunity for us to get to meet our athletes and our coaches. I'm Bob Lipman, joined today by women's lacrosse player Shelby Cole from Guilford, New Hampshire. One of the top scorers in program history and women's lacrosse season is already underway. And uh, before long, Shelby, we'll have an opportunity to see you right here <laughs> at Olette Stadium uh, first of all, thanks for taking some time out of your schedule to sit and talk with us. And I'd love to hear your thoughts on the upcoming season. Yeah, we're really excited. I think one of our biggest things for the season is we're excited to go to Florida. Um, and I think we're excited to come back and kind of prove ourselves again. Um, we just got the, or the original coaches poll. We weren't ranked this year. So I think that kind of was a little chip on our shoulder. And we're ready to come back and we have some unfinished business, so. Uh, and so when, talk about uh, how you finished up last year. And the Penmen have made some great strides here. And you've been a, a big part of watching this team develop and become competitive against some of the top women's programs in the nation. Yeah, I think last season was definitely a growing pain. Um, my sophomore year, when Coach Medeiros was new here, we completely turned the program around and we beat a lot of teams that people didn't think that we were going to beat. And last year, a few of those games fell short. Um, I think we had a trouble just finishing the game. But I think it is motivation for this season, for sure, especially with so many returners. Um, we have a lot of seniors. We have three graduate students. So I think that's the biggest thing going in. Shelby, the, uh, the schedule, and you touched on the fact that the coach is not shying away from playing some pretty good programs. You're going to go to Florida and, and play there. Presbyterian is a Division I program. They're going to come here and, and play you before you get into, again, the Northeast 10, where some of the top teams are. We've won a national championship out of our league in recent years. So yeah. how does that help? I think it, especially Florida being in the beginning of the season, it kind of set the tone for how we want to play. And Bennington is the most competitive conference for lacrosse. So it's always going to be a challenge. And I think we're really up and ready for it. And we just have to take it day by day. This year, we've been saying brick by brick. So we have to be our best every single day to be able to compete with those teams. I've kind of followed your career. I know you a little bit as a person. Where does that competitive fire come from on the field? Because when you talk about the switch on and off. You certainly are one of those <laughs> who I can relate to because on the field, you are a very, very tough competitor. Where, where does that all come from? Um, I feel like it's from my dad, to be completely honest. Um, I've always played sports. I played soccer and basketball in high school. Um, I love basketball. That's my second sport. I love coaching it. Um, but I've just always loved winning. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't know how else to describe it. I've just always loved winning, and I love competing with a team towards our goal. And my dad was my coach from the time I was just starting sports when I was four or five until I entered high school. So I think he had a big impact on my drive and competitive nature and my motivation for sports. I asked you to bring a stick. And the, and the reason why is, it, what, for those who have not seen it, it's really unusual in the women's game. You score a goal, and Shelby has scored a lot of goals. You just have to drop your stick. Can you kind of explain to us a, a little bit about what, uh, what they're looking for? And this is, uh, this is your favorite right here? Yep, this is, this is my stick. So basically, when you score in women's lacrosse, this is called the rail, and this is the head in the pocket. So the rule is you have to be able to see the ball over this top rail. So when you score and you drop your stick, the ref holds it up. They kind of look. They swing the ball back and forth to make sure it doesn't stay in the sweet spot, which is the pocket where you cradle the ball. And then they flip the stick over, put the ball again, make sure it doesn't stick in the sweet spot. And then they make sure that it rolls out. So does so. the stick change during a game then? Because they could just check them before the game, right? Yeah, so in high school and all youth levels, they check before the game. I don't know why they changed that rule for college. But I mean, yeah, people could be messing with their sticks all the time. 
Um, but there is a rule in place for NCAA that when you score, you have to drop it. And if they catch you adjusting any of your strings or touching your head at all, then the goal can be taken back because you could be making it tighter so it's legal. OK. Yeah. So that explains that. And here's a good example of uh, the equipment. Why Southern New Hampshire University? What, uh, what brought you here? So I was originally supposed to go to Pennsylvania. And I think my thought then was I just wanted to get out of New England. And then the closer I got to going to college, I realized I didn't want to go away from my family because I'm pretty close with my family. Mm -hmm. So I decommitted from the school in Pennsylvania. And this one was the closest to home. And at that point, I was already a senior. So it was kind of crunch time to make a decision. And I met with the previous coach before Coach Medeiros and had a walk-on tryout. And the rest is history, I guess. And then um, maybe for our viewers might be interested a little bit on uh, what you're studying here and anything you've been involved with on campus that you wanted to share, maybe outside of athletics. I'm studying psychology with a concentration in child and adolescent development. Yeah. And where would you like to apply that? I'm hoping to do volunteer work with children with autism. And I eventually want to kind of get within the homeless shelter system and help kids navigate that psychologically. But a lot of volunteer-based. maybe coach base. some basketball. Yeah, I already do coach basketball. I coach um, up at home. I coach a lot of summer league when I'm free. And then I've coached on and off with a travel team. Uh, so yeah, I'll definitely be coaching basketball. 2024 is going to be a successful year for SNHU lacrosse if? If we go brick by brick and take it day by day and we do what's on the game plan. I have big hopes for this season. I see. Come visit the Penman or that stadium. Women's lacrosse, uh, Shelby Cole, thank you uh, for spending some time with us. Continued success. Uh, you've done a remarkable job uh, with the Penman, and, uh, and thank you for your time today. Yeah, thanks for having me.